Learn how to make my strawberry surprise muffins with the jelly built right in. Up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget-minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome back to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, happy summer. I hope you all are having a great summer, and we just had July 4th, and hopefully you all were very careful with the fireworks, because there's nothing more depressing about reading about someone burning down their mobile home or blowing off an arm with the fireworks, but there's lots of potlucks and picnics coming up, and you have to take things because people look at you all strange if you come with a bag of potato chips. And today I'm going to share with you a great muffin that you can take to the actual potlucks that you're going to this summer, and it uses strawberry jam. And not long ago, we made some jam on my show. I showed you how the can jam. It's so easy to start canning. All you need is some proper equipment, which doesn't really cost all that much. You can watch my latest video on how to can, and it's so easy to watch and learn how to do it all yourself in your own trailer or home. But today we're going to be using the jam that I made last week with some great strawberries that was on sale. And they're going to be inside a muffin, so it's kind of like a peek boo muffin. It's my strawberry surprise muffins, and it's got the jelly right on in there. I'm going to show you how to make my strawberry surprise muffins up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my strawberry surprise muffins is really simple, and today we're using a bowl, and we're just going to mix it by hand because they're so simple to mix up. You don't even need a mixer, and they're the strawberry surprise muffins, and actually they could be any kind of surprise muffins. Today we're using my strawberry jam that I actually canned last week with some strawberries that was on sale. But you could pretty much use any kind of jam that you like. Leave a comment down at the bottom of what kind of jam that you would use in these muffins. But I've got a bowl right here, and I've got two cups of flour. That goes right on in there, just like that. Now I've got a tablespoon of baking powder. That goes right there, right on into the bowl. Now I've got a total of one fourth cup of granulated sugar and we're only going to use two tablespoons of that right now and the rest is going to be sprinkled up on top of the muffins and um, it's just going to look so great and sparkly and especially when you bite in it and it's got the jelly right on in there. And I've got a half teaspoon of salt. That goes right on in there too. I'm just going to mix this around until it's well kind of sifted. I mean, you could use one of those sifter things. I don't know where mine is. I think I've got one in this kitchen somewhere, but I'm going to have to look for it someday. But we're just going to mix it around. It'll be okay. And I'll check back with you in just a moment. Oh my gosh, you'll never believe it. While you were gone, I found my sifter thing and I still don't have the time for it, but I did find that. And you could really sift this all out to make it really fancy, but I'm sure it'll be just fine by just mixing it all around like we did. But what we're going to do is it's kind of like making biscuits. You're just going to make a little well, which is just kind of like a little hole so that you can pour the liquid ingredients in, which we've got one fourth cup of vegetable oil. We're going to pour that right there in the middle. 
I've got two egg whites, which makes this, I guess, a little bit healthier. I don't know. That goes right on in there. And then I have one and one fourth cup of um, milk. And you can use light milk if you want, but I don't pay all that money for milk for nothing. I need full test milk. I don't know about you. But we're just going to pour that right there in the center. Now we're just going to mix this very slightly so it's all well moist, but you don't want to over mix it. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. <laughs> Okay, I've got the batter all done now and I'm using a cupcake pan and you could actually grease it out and just do it right in the pan but I'm going to use the liners today because I don't like to do a lot of cleaning. I don't know about you all but I preheated the oven to 400 degrees and what we're going to do is fill each little liner about two thirds full. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll check back with you in just a moment. There we go. I poured all the batter in the actual liners two-thirds full, but, well, I, if I did that scientifically, I bet it would all work out and there would be 12 of them, but there isn't. There's 11, and I don't feel like fixing it. I think it'll be just fine, and today we're using that strawberry jam that I made, and it's all great and canned, and you can check out my canning videos. Look at that. It popped right off there, and you always should smell canned items. Wow, it smells just like the day that I canned it. That smells so good. And now we need to make the peekaboo part. And I just got a little cup right here. And so I don't contaminate my jelly. I'm just going to put some right there in the cup, just like that. There we go. And what we actually need is a teaspoon in each of the muffin uh, actual uh, sections. So what we're going to do is just take a teaspoon just like that and kind of just coax it on down into the middle of the muffin it's gonna fall on down in there while it's uh, cooking and then it's gonna be a surprise when you bite into it it's gonna already have the jelly in it and all you need is butter so I'm gonna work with this and just kind of push that little teaspoon of jelly like I said you could use any jelly be sure to leave a comment down at the bottom on what kind of jelly you're going to use in yours and I'm just going to finish this on up and I'll check back with you in just a moment. There we go. I put the jelly surprise in each one of them and I kind of spread out the top so that it's a surprise when you bite into it. It's okay if it, it kind of swirls around. It'll just make the muffin look pretty. And now what we're going to do is, you remember that leftover sugar that we have? We're just going to sprinkle the tops of each of the muffins. That makes it sparkle and that'll look so pretty on a buffet table. And we're just going to sprinkle that right on top just like that. That'll actually add an added crunch. Maybe you could use some crushed sugar cubes too. That looks real pretty. We did that in some other muffins that I did before. But we're just going to sprinkle that sugar right on top there. That adds some added sweetness to them. There we go. And just sprinkling the sugar just right there on top. And, you know, I bet this would be good with my blueberry jelly that we made too um, not long ago here in the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And that was so good. And we're just going to use all the sugar. I've preheated the oven to 400 degrees. And it goes right on in there for 20 minutes. It's like a cake. So you can use a toothpick test to see if it's okay. So let's go ahead and pop in the strawberry surprise muffins right now. Set your timer. And there you have it, my strawberry surprise muffins. And look at that sugar top on them. Isn't that pretty? It's sparkling in the light and they would look great on a breakfast buffet. And we used the strawberry jam that I canned last week, but you can certainly use whatever jam that you like, even store-bought if that's the kind of thing you want to do. But it certainly is good with jam that you make at home. You could use any flavor. Use a comment down at the bottom about what flavor you would use. But we used the cupcake liners today and I'm just going to take them off because I just can't wait to try this because these are just the prettiest muffins I've ever seen and 
um, it's got that surprise inside so let's see what happens when we open it up let's see and let's just break it in half here look at that surprise peekaboo it's the jam right on inside it, it it just went right on into the center isn't that like magic and you could serve these for breakfast and people will be like already with the jam but you could be like there's a surprise gonna happen but these are great with butter and you know I'm just gonna try this I'm just gonna be quiet and just try this mmm taste that it's crunchy and flaky and the lightest muffin that you could possibly make and got that sugar top and mmm that strawberry jam is sure good and you could certainly use a store-bought but that fresh jam in there is certainly a surprise wow mmm and you couldn't even tell it with that you didn't even have to use a pastry bag or anything wow mmm I can't wait to eat more of these and I can't wait till you make some of these and if you do send me pictures at Jolene Sugarbaker at gmail.com don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter I'm Jolene's trailer there lots of stuff going on in the trailer park each day and of course add me on Google Plus hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any trailer park cooking shows because there's always stuff going on and I'll be back with some more recipes soon leave a comment down at the bottom about what you'd like to see me cook next but I hope you get a chance to make these strawberry surprise muffins and I'm gonna go eat some more I love y'all thanks for stopping by the trailer park make every day a trailer park day bye bye slap on all your blue eye shadow watch out for that big tornado get all filled with bye. pride in the double wide Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.